Hello viewers, my name is Patrick Marcus Daudu Kumo, popularly known as PMD. I'm a filmmaker, a film director, and I will want you to keep watching the Niger Delta Connect TV. We are Niger Delta Connect. In this edition of Niger Delta Paysetters, meet Patrick Marcus Daudu Kumo, PMD, from a girl community in the Kerema local government area of Bayelsa State. PMD, as he's fondly called, fell in love with filmmaking right from his childhood. He'd always wanted to be in movie production, and today, he's a film producer, director, professional unit production manager, colorist, and editor. PMD is passionate about telling stories in unique ways, and that is why he decided to come out of the shadows with his recent work titled Echoes from the Creeks, which is aimed at rewriting the negative impression associated with the Ijo ethnic nationality. The movie also aims to restore the rich cultural heritage of the Ijo nation, which has been distorted by foreign writers and critics. PMD's Echoes from the Creeks, which is set to be premiered on cinema August 8, 2021, is born out of the desire to project the echoes of Niger Delta indigens who have been unheard for decades. He loves telling the Niger Delta story by using filmmaking as a weapon or tool for advocacy and action. Patrick Marcus Dandor Kumar. When you have other professions out there, you decided to go into filmmaking. What inspired you to go into filmmaking? Uh, filmmaking is uh, actually something I loved from as a very little age, you know, as a very tender young boy that was growing up. I love the when you know in those days in the communities we arc film, you know, like you put it inside those big box yeah. tapes, you put it inside wooden box and we arc it film show ten era, film show ten era, film show <laughs> okay. final. So at the end of the day you get to enter the film hall free. Free. So that was the passion. And when I went through that process, I watched a film that was my love, uh, featured uh, Ramson Noah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that film inspired me as a young boy. I think I was very little, very little, too, far back 2001, there about. Okay. And um, I told myself that day that I'm going into this. I didn't really know how to go about it, but I just know that I'm going into this. I just told myself, and I told the pictures I saw, Ramson Noah's face and yeah. some other persons on that graphics, and I told them I will meet them at the top. Okay, that's a great mindset. Yeah, oh. thank you. <laughs> okay, now, tell me, how, as a filmmaker, how does where you live uh, affect or influence how and the kind of movies you make? Yeah, where, as a filmmaker, where I live, like currently now, mm. I feel where I live is actually influencing my creative ability. Okay. Um, because I can now think the situations in my environment okay. and convert them to a story in a motion picture platform. Okay. That's like the Niger Delta. Yes. Living inside the Niger Delta, I cannot go and tell a story in US. So now, directly, the Niger Delta environment influences my way of thinking, okay. of telling my content. Okay. Because if the environment is very developed, your creative ability will be based on the things you see and the things you want to create but we still need to do the things that can actually tell our stories from our environment. Okay, so as a filmmaker, what makes a great movie for you? For me, what makes a great movie is actually the story you want to actually tell, your script. Okay. Your script, the script, the script is very, very important, very key. Because if your script is wrong, your, your film is wrong actually. Okay. Yes, so if you want to tell a great movie, bring the script. Your script has to be great before you start uh, um, pre-production, before even production, before post-production. Yes, those things added to it. But the first thing you discover or the first thing you have to identify before you make a film is the script. Okay, talking about that now, um, we've seen this, it's like it's everywhere, echoes from the creeks. Can you yeah. tell us more about this movie? I think it should be showing at the cinema. Yeah, on, the, on the 8th of August. Okay, tell us more about this. Um, Echoes from the Creeks is actually a Niger Delta story. Niger Delta story. Yeah, and um, precisely the Niger Delta region in, like in West Africa, where we live right now. Early this year, we did a film titled Milestones of a Thousand Portrait. Mm -hmm. And when we sent that film out to film, film festivals, it was nominated up to in three film festivals. <clears throat> one in US, one in UK, and another one in Republic of Ireland. 
and I had some interviews online. Okay. So I, I discovered that the white man has interest on the black man's story. So I told myself, what is the need of trying to mimic mm. the story? white man's uh, content? Yeah. Why should I tell their story? Why can't I just tell my story? Because they have not heard my story, especially my state, my other states. They, they've not, like, we, we've not even said anything about our stories. And the best way is when you say it's you from the Yes. Region. So I discovered that the best way for me to tell my story is me telling my story. People will come from outside and tell the story, and they will look at it like they are telling it from the point of view of a business. Okay. I want to make money from it. So there are some certain things I shouldn't say. There are some certain people I shouldn't call. But on this... There is nothing like business, even though money will come from it. There is nothing like business. We are saying the fact, okay. because this is what we are passing through. Just for instance, the Niger Delta people are recognized as militants mm. all over the world. Okay. Now, they are recognized as terrorists mm. all over the world. So we want to Why? The Why? This film is all about, nobody carries any gun, but the thing is all about, before the Niger Delta man stood up for his rights, mm. what prompts his mindset? So I knew of the value of the Niger Delta man. Then now, later, the oil came in. We are now happy that, yes, God has brought wealth to us. Yeah. The wealth, people make use of the wealth, and at the end of the day, the wealth that God brought onto us is now becoming like a curse. Mm. Now, when these people complain and cry and said, it is high time we stand up for our rights, some people tag them terrorists. So we want to actually tell stories to the world that the Niger Delta man is not a terrorist. Adakaboro is a hero, and he should be celebrated all over the world, like the way Nelson Mandela has been celebrated, like the way Martin Luther King has been celebrated. And I discovered that the Niger Delta people are the way we are because we do not keep history. People like Martin Luther King, we can still go on the internet today and watch their videos. I've watched videos of him. I've, I've, I've read his speech of, I have a dream. Yeah. You know, I, like, I followed it back to back to get every word. They, they have transcriptions about it online. You get, but the Niger Delta man, no. Nelson Mandela, you can still get good details of Nelson Mandela uh, 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 um, uh, str struggle, rather, struggle in the internet. But the Niger Delta man, no. If you search about the Niger Delta Republic, you will see Niger Delta Republic, the only republic that lived for 12 days. And that publish wasn't made by a Nigerian. It was an international body that published that post or that news okay. as as that time. So if you allow people to write your story, your stories will go wrong. Okay, now I saw the I saw it online, like um, uh, one of the scene. It was in South Africa. So was it really South Africa or it was just uh, Nigeria? <laughs> and this, okay. you said, is just 25 minutes. So we went all the way from Nigeria to South Africa. And okay. Just come up with this. I met the young lady. Uh, via the milestones of a thousand portrait. Okay. She inboxed me online and like she would want to work with me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, nice, nice one. So probably maybe in my next project, we can actually see what we can do. Okay. So when I started planning for the project then, mm -hmm. I put her into the project. So what happened was she has to do her filming over there and send okay. the clips to me. Wow, technology. <laughs> yeah, you know, even we had a partner from US the white I guy, that, yeah, yeah. The, he saw that first one and was like, this is nice, so let's work together. So practically it was um, the Don J.P. King's films and his company that started the whole thing. So he's actually a, one of our biggest partners. All right, now I'm talking about the characters in this movie. Uh, the one you're putting on right there, I think I know him well. And okay. I was like, when I saw this, I was like, okay, now this movie is going to be bomb. I think I, I even shared that on my social media handle because oh, that's nice. I know he's good. And I saw the likes of things to IJ. Yeah. How did you select your characters? Like, like um, I tried to check out the echoes. And I tried to look at people like teams, mm -hmm. IJ. There are people who are professionals in their own fields. Okay. And um, we're trying to say that even today, not only those who are in the rural areas are crying for what is happening okay. in our environment. Mm -hmm. Those who have made money, they are okay with what they are living. They are okay, they can feed their families, but still they are still complaining about what is happening mm -hmm. around the Niger Delta area. Okay. That is what I try to use people like Teams and IG, Pippa Colleon, mm -hmm. to interpret. They know what to do. Okay. They know what to do already. So that was one thing I had to look out carefully select my cast. Okay, so directing, 
How was it like direct? These are people with different personalities, you know. How was it like working with them? Wow. I would say so far so good. This is the best production I've worked on. Mm. Yeah, the best and the most easiest. Okay. Like we worked, okay. but mm. everybody there was a teamwork mm. on set. Okay. Everybody knew what to do at the time they had to do what to do. Now, besides echoes from the creek, okay, you no know, filmmaking, what would blogs have you encountered, you know, while doing this? Ah, besides echoes from the creeks, mm. filmmaking. You know, when I started filmmaking, I was discouraged. Okay. I, I was working with some set of persons, and at that time, as a young person, 2014, some certain issues came up. We were arrested, you know, for making a film. Oh, really? I was actually in the police station for four good days. My mom was practically walking around the state. Based on what? Based on that, they said that some of the actors on set are not registered actors in some association we read about. Okay. So it was, it was so discouraging. A lot of persons left, and the reason why I said I'm not giving up on this was because I have been arrested about this. Besides PMD being a, a movie director, who else is he? Okay, um, <clears throat> PMD, PMD, I have a PMD technical services. Okay. That's a, a technical outlet where um, we give the services of plumbing, tiling, bowl drilling, water treatment. Okay. You know, I learned that as an early age to start life okay, so and so far so good that platform is still giving us the money to fund our film production okay. because film production is not yet paying us just before we go pmb can you tell us uh, what advice you have for young and aspiring movie directors out there uh, to me movie directors young movie directors young filmmakers cinematographers mm -hmm. i feel you have to own your craft. If I go out and shoot, I will come back to my house and do what I need to do without somebody telling me to do it. Mm. So to me, just keep on doing what you're doing and know how to do it while you're doing it. Thank you. Okay, keep on doing what you're doing and know how to do it. And of course, it will surely get you to a very better place someday. It's yeah. been a wonderful moment with PMD. Thank you so much, PMD. Thank you, and I'm grateful for you hosting me. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank Hello, you. viewers. My name is Patrick Marcus Daudu Kumo, popularly known as PMD. I'm a filmmaker, a film director, and I will want you to keep watching the Nanji Delta Connect TV. We are Ninja Delta Connect.